G'day guys and welcome back, I'm Rosini16 and I'm here today to bring you the second squad builder for the week. Now, if you did watch my episode yesterday on Javier Hernandez, I did tell you that I would be bringing you one very shortly that's around another player. Now, if you can't already tell by the position, the player is in fact Connor Planenka. Now, he's got an insane team of the week. It is his second, I believe, and it's absolutely sick. 94 pace, 82 shot, 85 passing. 87 dribbling, and 74 physical. It's absolutely insane for an 84 ready card. Let alone the fact he's got a four-star weak foot and four-star skill moves. So I'm going to be chucking him into a hybridized team. I'm going to try and keep these squad builders as hybrid as I can to try and get a nice mixture of players in there. I'm doing the same basic thing over and over and over. But in case you can't already tell by the manager on the left-hand side, it is going to involve Colombian players as well as Spanish. Now, I did have to get a manager for this one just for the center forward position as otherwise they only had seven chemistry I believe and I just wanted to try and maximize the chemistry in this team. So we're going to jump straight into it. We're going to start in the goalkeeper and we're going to start over in the Serie A. Now with the only good goalkeeper in that bloody league is Buffon so we're going to chuck him in that straight away. I already have the team mapped out. I've done it all before. Now I'm just going to show you, put it in for you again so you guys can see. So. In the left back, we jump back over to the Liga BBVA, and the only downside to having Conor Planenka is the fact that he does play for Sevilla, and there's not a lot of good players you can find that will help to get those green links to him, and his nation is also nothing you'll find decent link to it as well. So you have to try and get one of them lower-rated players in, although Tremolinas is an absolute sick player, and the player I'm going to put in the midfield to also get in that chemistry is also sick and very underrated. So... It's going to work out either way, but we're going to jump into our centre-back position. Stay in the BBVA for this one, and we're going to jump across and get Varane. Could have got Ramos in that or Pepe, but I just find Varane's a much better player in this game. Jumping into the right centre-back, and we go back over to the Serie A. And we are going to go with, not Chiellini, but Bazagli. Uh, Baz oh, sorry, I don't even speak. Anyway, we're going to use him. I could have used Chiellini. One, I didn't have enough coins at the time, and two, I find Barzagli is a lot better player anyway. So for the Italian side in the team, unfortunately, I didn't want to do it, but to get good chemistry, I did have to go with full Juventus players. So all the Italian, uh, Italian league players you will see in this side all play for Juventus, but they're all insane players, and I'm really keen to use them all. Biggest one I probably didn't want to have to use is Licksteiner, but it'll be insane nonetheless. He's a right backman, so he's not going to have that much of an influence. We'll get over it. Jumping into the center defensive midfield, we go back to the Liga BBVA. And for something different, I did have some position change this player, and it is Tony Cruz. I feel like he's an absolute insane CDM. Even though his stats don't necessarily show it, I think he's a mental CDM, so we're going to chuck him in there. On the left center mid, as I said, this player is also going to be playing for Sevilla. Try and get that chemistry to Conor Planenko, and that is going to be Chris Schauer. For those of you who have used him, you'll understand how much of a sick player he is, but for those of you who haven't, I recommend getting him. He's worth, he's dirt cheap, and he's an insane player for what you pay for him compared to the other centre midfielders in the Liga BBVA. As for the other centre midfield, we jump back over to the Serie A, and we are going to get Hernandez. Now, he's a sick player again. For those of you who used him, you'll understand, but for those of you who don't, recommend getting him. He's absolutely underrated with that 81 rating, but plays like he's 86, 87 rated. Now up in the right wing, we get to use one of my favorite players in the game, which I don't think I position changed him. So I'm going to have to do that before we start. It is Quadrado. He's an absolutely sick player. He's got the five-star skills, some really nice pace, and he's just really fun to play with. So for those of you who are very skill-based players, I recommend getting him and using him because he's a lot of fun. And for those of you who don't already know who the final player is going to be, Judging by the players that are around and the nations and the fact that I talked about having a Colombia center forward It is going to be in this um, Liga BBVA and it is in fact going to be Martinez Absolutely sick player pretty much just got him in the middle as a tank just to brute force his way through the middle for um, Kind of put anchor or quadrado to cross it into him or whatever, but it looks like an absolutely sick team It does get a pretty good rating and I'm pretty excited to play with it. It's got to admit it's probably Looks like one of the funnest teams I've created in the squad builder so far, and I'm really excited to jump in and play a game. So I'll be doing five games as usual, and I'll jump into the highlights for you guys right. All right, guys, so as we hop into the highlights, this is actually the second game. In the first game, it was a nil-all draw, and there wasn't actually anything to show you, of course, because there was no goals. So this is actually the second game. 
Now we came up against five very, very good opponents. Probably the best opponents I've played in the whole of FIFA so far. They were very, very good. We only managed to get one win. I think it was two draws and two losses, which is unfortunate, but we still managed to get plenty of highlights of Conor Planenka. Now he's an absolutely insane player. I don't have that many critiques with him, except for maybe he's running on goal. He's another one that drops back, and if you don't want him to, you have to set his um, instructions because otherwise he drifts back when you go forward and you can't really find him. But other than that, the only other critique I have for him is that he's not always clinical. Now I found about, in all the games, about eight of his shots I reckon I had got either blocked by the goalkeeper or the last defender. Not so much to do with him, I suppose, getting blocked. It's so much to do with the opponent we versed, but I just found every shot we had, it got blocked by a player or something, and it was just very frustrating. Yeah, I personally wouldn't have liked to play him at left wing. I would have liked to play him at left forward as a striker. He would have fit in much better there, I reckon, because I don't know, I just felt like he played better central than wide, but these squad builders, I want to do them in their positions, and I've changed all the other ones when I probably shouldn't have. should have played them in the position we got them in, so I didn't want to change him, so I left him as a left winger, but personally, I would have preferred to have him as a left forward. I felt like he would have done a lot more for me, but considering he was out on the winger, he still did a lot to influence these games, as you'll see in the end game stats. But if you guys are looking for an insane BBVA player that's not the likes of Messi and Ronaldo because they're too damn expensive, I definitely recommend getting him. His price is only decreasing, which is absolutely insane, and he's an absolutely phenomenal player for what he's worth. But that does take us to the end of the highlights, guys. We're just going to jump back to the uh, squad. And in the, in the five games, he did pick up four goals, considering one of them games was a nil draw. I thought that was absolutely phenomenal. Keeping in mind, he's a left winger, not a striker, so he's not meant to be doing all the goal scoring, but... I definitely could have been more clinical with him. I reckon he deserved at least six or seven goals in those games, but there's nothing you can do about it. And personally, I recommend if you're going to go out and buy one of their Team of the Week uh, player reviews I've done this week, I definitely recommend Conor Planenka. He shits all over Javier Hernandez. So much better and so much more value for money. But that is going to complete this episode and the squad builders for this week. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next week for the next one, obviously. So thanks so much for coming and watching, guys, and have a great rest of your day.